that was funny. Libby wants to know if we've shared with the socialists. No, she read it as she. <laughs> I asked if I had shared with the socialists, and as socialists like to share, uh, <laughs> I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I haven't shared with all the socials, but I'm sure you guys are able to do that for me. Thank you so much. It's one thing when I ask people to join me. It's another thing when the already send out the notices, man, people start showing up. So I would be so happy if y'all shared it with all the socials, all the social medias. I am going to put my microphone closer to my mouth. How about that? I did see a super chat or someone gave a donation. So where, where are we now? Let's add that overlay to this one here. A widget overlay. Just take me a second to pop that up here for y'all. And there's our goal. It's five bucks more. Jen, thank you so much for that super chat or that, that donation. You guys are the best. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And I know that you just spent nine minutes watching me boogie, but... We gotta do just another 12 seconds. This one has a Latin flavor. Thank you very much for that, Jen. You're so kind. I appreciate that. That is uh, our September goal. We are $115 in. We are on the third Saturday, I believe, already for September. And this goal is to help us buy supplies, cover our costs here at Dylan Artie Studios, which is a multi-million dollar setup over here. That's why we ask for donations. <laughs> Thank you, I'm gonna turn the air off. All right, we are gonna do something we don't really do much over here at Dylan Artie. We are gonna play with tags. Play with tags, I'm just gonna shrink that down a bit because it is a little bit intrusive, a little bit. What bar is a little high? I'm not sure, Berta Miller. I'm not, this bar here, it was a little high. It was too far up on my screen. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm just going to zoom it down a little bit because I don't want it to intrude on our fun. All right. Sammy loves making tags. If you're new here tonight, I want to know about it. Would you please type the word new in all caps and an exclamation point? I want to try and shout you out here on the big screen. Thank you very much. Um... I see lots of people returning here tonight. So, um, also, just so you know, if you're on YouTube and you do a super chat, that's fine. But it won't increase this thing. I tried working with it earlier to get it to increase our September goal line, and it doesn't do that. I don't have a way to manually do that. But uh, you're welcome to use super chats. If you use the link that I put out there, um, the donate link... I get to keep a lot more of the cash. Not that it matters a whole lot. It's just a different percentage. But it moves that line. It moves that bar. So if you use streamlabs.com slash Dylan Artie to do that, then you move that bar. Anyway, that's paying the bills. All right, everybody. There's the link. It just popped up. I see uh, Melissa Dussault. Bienvenue, Melissa Dussault. I just figured you spoke French since your last name is French. You know, obviously. Anyone else here that's new? I don't see anybody popping in saying they're new other than... There's got to be more new folks in here. Thumbs up, everyone. Dee's in here. She is the thumbs up police tonight. Shalona Mosher says she feels like she's new, but she's been here for a while. Molly Faircloth is new. Welcome, Molly. We're so happy you're here. So happy. Yep. Yeah, YouTube YouTube takes 30%. I mean, it's a big setup and they've got a lot of overhead. I'm not complaining about it, but if you can if I can get a bigger piece of the pie, we can buy more supplies with it. So there's that, you know. <laughs> uh Stamping Songbird says she feels new every day. Does that count? Well, yes. Heather, happy birthday to you. I'm going to give an applause to all the new folks and a happy birthday to Heather. Let's do, I need to get a happy birthday song in here, don't I? I thought I had one. 
I'm just gonna give you a party noisemaker. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Sherry Wyland says she's old, but just in body. <laughs> Sherry D says it's the first live she's caught. Well, you're so I'm so glad you're here live with us. Welcome. Welcome. I'm so happy you're here. Okay. I need a drink of coffee and then we'll get down to business. You ready? <laughs> Linda Toman. Linda, I'm praying for you and, and your grandbaby. Thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. Um, oops, that's the wrong thing. Push the wrong button. <laughs> Applause for Linda Tillman. Thank you very much. All right. I'm going to play with something that I haven't shown you tonight yet. I just played with it this afternoon after I taught my class for Hero Arts Holiday Stamp Along, which has been a lot of fun. But it is this wonderful little die set called Gift Tag Stack. Gift Tag Stack. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of blurry, but there we go. This is a fantastic little die, and it makes smallish tags. Let me give you an example here of one. Here's a size that it makes, so pretty small. This is the Ellen Hudson tag that I used for Stamp Wars and on my live earlier this week. So you can see it's about a third of the size of that tag, maybe a half, so. Um, very nice. Shlona, thank you all for helping me out. You guys are so awesome. Thank you very much. Now I have a discount code for you. I'll tell you about it in just a second. First, we got a chair dancing, y'all. My wife is here. Oh, my goodness. Paul is here. She says, make Christmas tags for all the presents I'm going to buy her. Okay, so I guess I only need one of these right here then. <laughs> Just kidding. My wife, I spoil her for Christmas and she spoils me. It's very nice. We have a ridiculous amount of stuff we do at Christmas here. But it's once a year, right? Just once a year. All right. This comes with a holiday set and a... Well, it doesn't come with it, but it, it has coordinating holidays. So you got tags for, um, I'm going to turn my camera down here. Tags for uh, Halloween right here. So we've got a Halloween set. And this is just one stamp right here. And I'm going to show that to you. And then we've got little individual stamps to adorn the tags with. Man, y'all are coming in hot and heavy with the donations tonight. Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't know what I did there. Let's see. Put me back up here. Let's boogie again. Check out those moves. <laughs> Okay, and then we've got the Christmas set here. This is really cool, too, because look, it's got these little whimsical deer and the forests and uh, ornaments here. Flip it up, side down. And we've got snowflakes right here. We've got some stripes and holly ornaments there, plaid. What a great, great little stamp set. So you can get 10% off of your order tonight using code DANIELW10 at LDRScreative.com. I may be dancing all night, Trudy. This may just be Soul Train all evening. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, let's get to stamping here for a sec. All right. I have a Misty with these um, Hall Halloween stamps in it. It's just the Halloween, it's one stamp. So I'm gonna pop it in here. 
using my Mini Misty. This is the 2.0. All right. And then we'll do Christmas since it's such an easy thing to do. I mean, it's super easy. I'm going to show you. But once you can cut them out as well and add your own stamps to them if you want. Uh, just use that as a cover and color that in. That's that's a Colorado Craft Company stamp called Sweet Something. So Sweet Birthday Stamps. And um, those are going to be on sale again on Monday. I've got a video coming out with those. So this, I put it in here like this. And then I grab some cardstock, CAD stack. And make... Let's cut it down, trim it down to make our tags. My wife said, my wife thinks I'm going to get her a lot of Christmas presents this year. I always tell my family it's going to be a slim Christmas, guys. It's going to be a slim Christmas. We're not going to be able to get much. And the kids always believe that every year. And then we get too much for them. And they're like, I thought we weren't going to have a big Christmas this year. And mine was all sad that... <laughs> Our Christmas presents weren't going to be very good. <laughs> and then we get them too much. But, of course, I don't spoil them much the rest of the year. Oh, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun being a mom and dad. Okay. So, I've got that over there. I'm just going to show you how I did these. Look at all of these I've already made. So easy to make them, too. Because it's one stamp, you know, it's one stamp. But I've got a bunch of little Hero Arts ink cubes over here. We're going to try to mix things up a little bit. You can take this one stamp. I am wearing a microphone. Let's see if I can turn it up for you guys. If it's down, sometimes it does that to me. Let's do input. External mic. How's that? Is that better? That should be better. I hate that, that it does that, if you're having a hard time hearing me. Okay, so I'm going to do it in black first and show you how that works. And then, then we'll do it with colored, different colors. How about that? So I've got this LDRS Creative Black ink pad that I'm using that they were kind enough to send to me. And I'm going to use my numinator to get a nice impression here. And look what it does. Puts that tag, puts those tags right down like that. And then, yes, is that better? I'm glad you guys can hear better. Anytime you don't hear me like that, just please let me know because that way I can fix it as soon as possible. All right, there we go. Look at that beautiful set of tags we've already got made. Consuela, thank you so much, Consuela. That is very thoughtful, very, very thoughtful. Now I'm just gonna uh, boogie here real quick. Thank you, my friend. Let's color these in real quick because there are some um, little things we can color in here. You know me, I love to color. So I feel like a little kid when I get out my markers and colors. But we'll color these pumpkins in here and the, the candy corn. Those are a few things you can color on this stamp. Also, I could do some ink blending as well. That would be fun. All right, I'm going to start with the E57 down here on the pumpkins. Just kind of a brown, just to add some depth to our pumpkins, like that. Thank you guys for being so generous tonight. Then I'm coming in with YR68. YR68. 
And then YR65, which is more pale orange. This is actually called um, Atoll. Is that what that's called? Yeah, Atoll. Atoll. I don't know what it means in Copic language, but in Spanish, Atoll is like a corn drink. Well, it could be any hot drink, I guess, but sometimes it's made with with uh, corn. Sometimes it's made with oats, but it's delicious, and it's almost always got some kind of uh, uh, cinnamon in it. It's a lovely little drink. Aren't those cute little tags, guys? <clears throat> okay. Now we're going to do candy corn. Who likes candy corn? If you don't like candy corn, when I was a kid, I loved, loved, loved candy corn. And now that I'm older, I'm like, why did I like it so much? <laughs> oh my gosh. Cheryl, thank you so much. That was very thoughtful of you. <laughs> Y'all are going to make me lose weight dancing over here, right? This is called the Copic Dance. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's very thoughtful of you. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and finish those little chocolate centers. You know, I don't even think those are chocolate. I think they're just brown colored on those candy corns. The ones that are triple colored. Now I'm going to grab the YR68. Now if you're making a ton of these tags, you might not want to spend time coloring these in. So you may just want to stamp these out in orange if you like. But it's up to you, you know. Consuela is eating candy corns right now. That is funny. Now, who all said they liked it? Let me look up here and see if you love candy corn. Mary li likes it. Linda likes it. I like candy corn. I don't have anything against it. <laughs> look, so we've got our little candy corns colored in. Just like that. I'll put those aside. And now I'm going to get out my stamps. This one is part of the stamp set. It says eat, drink, and be scary. So I've got a I've got a new stamp pad out here. This is Mandarin Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated Ink. This is their new foam pad line of stamps and I'm enjoying them very much. The colors are brilliant. Very intense or saturated inks. So I'm just gonna stamp, let's see. I don't want to stamp this on all of them, but I do like this one here for this stamp. This one right here, this tag with the bats. So eat, drink, and be scary. Look how beautifully that stamps. That's just perfect. All right? Now I can also add that to the, the pumpkins, I think. Let's see if it's not too, too tall. Or the candy corn. That would be good. Eat, drink, and be scary. The ones with food on it. We'll put eat, drink, and be scary. Okay. I've got Simon Hurley's acrylic block right here too that I'm using to hold my... <laughs> I'm using it to hold my stamps on. Like a little stamp palette. Then the, there's this one that says trick or treat. So I'm just going to use that right here. Let's get it nice and inky. Trick or treat. Right there. And I can put that right here as well. It fits nicely above the pumpkins, right? Then I've got a smaller one over here. It says, 
best witches isn't that fun I'm gonna put that right on this one with the witch and the broom let's get nice and inked up best witches like that and then I've got one more excuse me one more here it says boo to you put that right here with the spider spiders are my nemesis oh my goodness I do not like spiders at all and then you just take the the die and you line up these little corners these little triangles up here at the top and the bottom like that make sure they're nice and lined up just like that and then you can die cut it first though I, w I think I wanted to add some I wanted to add some uh, ink to this so get a blender brush just gonna add a bit of ombre effect here near the bottoms of these just like this There we go. That was a Catherine Pooler blending brush. Then I'm going to line this up again and try it, try it again. Let's line this up and then we'll die cut it. I'll show you how they come out. I think this is the perfect size for little treat bags or smaller gifts, you know. And the bigger tags maybe you might want to use for, you know, bigger gifts and such. But I think this is perfect for like a little bag of candy or tiny gifts, you know. You can even use it to decorate a card front if you want. Yep, these are quick to do. Look how fast they come out. Look how fast they come out. All right, here we go. Watch this, you ready? Are you ready for this? Someone type in the comments, I was born ready. side this mint tape is a dream to work with just so y'all know okay there we are tied to candy treat bags yep Cheryl that's exactly right I think it's fantastic they are fantastic little little gift card little uh, tags and I think that's a brilliant concept, that little one tag die, one die to make six tags. Just a great, great concept. And I bet you could even make them, but you know, make another one much larger, have another die made. I'm not telling anyone what to do, I'm just saying. And here's the spider web one. Super cute. Look at this one. Here's the pumpkin one, says trick or treat trick or treat here's another one just the black and white there trick or treat here's the candy corn isn't that cool I love the ombre little bit of ink blending on there Susan yes I was born ready Linda says she was born ready <laughs> y'all are awesome stamping songbird was born ready nice yep perfect size for small treat bags all right now i'm gonna do something else watch this i'm gonna take another one of these we're gonna make another one for the second piece of our tag so i'm just gonna grab our 
stamp set here, our stamp. It's just one stamp, but we're going to grab it here and we're going to ink it up again. Ink it up again. Just make sure it gets nice and inky. There we go. That's beautiful. That's nice. And then we're going to die cut it out. And we'll use this for the back. I'll show you what I mean by that. So when we go to put them together, we'll use two different pieces. You don't have to do this. But I think it's fun. So let's die cut this out. April, I do not know that for sure, but I suspect that this is going to be something they've got up their sleeve. I don't have any info on that, but I suspect that LDRS Creative has created this product with that intention, that they're going to add, just like they did with their, um, their uh, pirouette. They've got Christmas and different holidays. I think they're going to do that with the tags. Or maybe they already have done it, and I just don't know about it yet, because I'm new to LDRS Creative. They just asked me to hop in for the holidays and work with them for a bit, which is very thoughtful, very kind, and I'm honored. All right. Now, for some reason, did that go, that ink come off on my, my plate? I don't know what happened to the ink on these. I do not know. Oh, that's just leftover ink from a, from a, from the tag, the die thing. Apparently, it has some. Yep, there's some ink on my die. So just to maybe think about that when you're doing it. it doesn't bother me. I think it's kind of neat to have that little thing in the back. But in the stamp set. Pull out that stamp set real quick. Gotta find it. Y'all, you know what I do with my... There it is. To and from. See that? There's a to and a from right there. So I'm just gonna grab a small little acrylic block. And I'm gonna add that to my... Let's see, I can put that right here, like that, and then I can put the two right here, right? You can emboss these, heat emboss them, right? There we go, that's perfect. I'm going to use this one, this ink pad, since I know I'll get really great coverage right away, and I'm using an acrylic block. And it just adds a bit of contrast to that. See, stamp to and from on the second tag. Do the same thing here on each of them. That's cool. Just like that. Hey, Lana. We're playing with the um, LDRS Creative tag stack die and the coordinating stamps tonight that's what we're playing with like this so we've got little halloween tags and then we can come in cover up our our pad oh mom i was i was chatting with my mama earlier while i was playing with it and she couldn't see all the designs, and now, now she can see it because 
I've got it close up, close up here. But look here. Eat, drink, and be scary. You can pop those together. And then just grab a piece of twine. The other day I said I didn't have twine. And uh, that wasn't true. I found some. <laughs> okay, so just come in like this. Make a make a loop. Just uh, bend the, the thing in half. Come in. And pop that through the holes. Right? And then take your two loose ends. And pop those through. And then pull them together. And there we have a great little tag. And they can open it up like that to see who it is for and from. Pretty cool, huh? Aren't those fun? Super little tags. LDRS Creative. There's a link right in the description box below for you guys to use. LDRScreative.com. But you can use my, my code to get 10% off. And if you do that, then yours truly is helped by that. So when you use my code, you get 10% off. But I get paid for that. So thank you. Thank you very much. And it's at no additional cost to you. It doesn't add anything to your bottom line at all. It just helps me. I just feel like giving an applause to all those who use my links. There you go. So we'll just pop that in there like that again. Like that. And then open it up and pop the end through. Let's see. Baker's twine can be harder because it's loosely loosely woven together. There we go. See that? Trick or treat to and from. Super fun little tags. Or you could do this as a gift in and of itself. Just set, create a set of tags for somebody. Put them in a little package and give them away. You could probably make some for a craft fair, you know, a party for your Halloween party. If your kids got a Halloween party or maybe they need to uh, take something to, to class. Who knows what you need these tags for. Ah, oh, Sherry. So sweet. Thank you very much. That is very kind. Time to boogie, y'all. Man, we are almost to our goal. We've got 143 of 200. We're almost there. You guys are awesome. Let's finish these off. <laughs> finish these off. And then we'll go to the Christmas ones, right? Christmas time. Now, if you didn't get the... If you just wanted the die, you could actually use the die and use gift tags, um, stamp sets that you may already have. If you don't have any gift tag stamp sets, I think this would be a perfect one to grab. I think these are un unintrusive little gift tags. Sometimes gift tags can be too big. You know, it's up to you. Or maybe you like them big, or maybe you want a variety. So you've got a small set and a big set. I think that's fun. I think that's really fun. All right. Now, if you're getting any value out of tonight's video, it would be nice of you, so nice of you to hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button. Those are great ways to support my channel, my artistic efforts at no cost. Thank you so much. Love it. Yes, it was used, it used to be called Little Darlings Rubber Stamp. 
company, I think. Something like that. Super cute little stamps that they make. And then we got one more. This candy corn. Eat, drink, and be scary. These are sold separately. So you get the you can buy the dies if you don't need the stamps. And then you can buy the stamps, you know, according to the holiday that you want to celebrate. Christmas. This one is Halloween. I've, I'm going to show you the Christmas one here in a second. And we'll switch up some of the inks in it just to show you how fun that could be. You know, we could mix color palettes and all of that. These colors are fun. Yeah, these colors, this is uh, the new ink pad from Simon Says Stamp, just released here from, for Stamp Timber. So I have, I have all of them over here that they released. You know me, I'm an ink addict, and I like to show you, the, show you guys the things and tell them the things that I like about it. I haven't really played with them much, so I'm just getting to know them, but I will let you know. I just showed you how easily that ink blended on there. And then how easily that stamped on there as well. So that was right. Hey Jim. Jim Eber is here. Welcome, my friend. Dudes Craft 2, right? Dudes Craft 2. Alright, so we got a little set of tags for Halloween. Now, let's pull this Halloween stamp out and we'll get the Christmas stamp in there. I'm gonna clean it first though. Clean it up. Oh, Shelly would Shelly would uh, make them back to back. You could actually even glue them together if you want. However you like. I like the uh, I like to slide them open. I think it's really nice look. <clears throat> but that's an awesome idea too. Just gonna pull that out. See, that's one whole stamp right there. And then lay this down here. Let's lay this down. That's the wrong side. There we go. Gotta get it on the right side, Mr. West. There. From two. If I don't put these away now, it's going to be a while. I've got stamps piled up over there on a on a huge acrylic block that I got busy and didn't put them away. And now I don't remember what stamp set to go to. <laughs> and then now I have to spend time looking for that stamp set. Okay. Let's do the Christmas one now. Christmas time is almost here. I've already asked my kids for their Christmas lists. And they were like, what? It's September. I'm like, yep. Gotta get that Christmas stuff done. Alright, look at this one. It's very similar, but of course it's got Christmas themes in it. What are you talking about, Trudy? I think he is missing most of my comments, y'all. I went to a stamping event at my local store and we did those tags today. You did the LDRS ones? That is so cool, Trudy. And look at me coming on here like this tonight with these. So cool. So cool. All right. Hi, Judy. I got your email today. Thank you for that. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to, I've got a big tray of Simon Says, not Simon Says, Hero Arts inks over here that I'm going to use. So let's uh, come up with a little palette. I think I'm going to use um, this Summer Sky ink for some of this. So let's see what I can color in with the summer sky. I think my ink pen, my stamp is off a little bit. So let's put it over here. Let's 
Okay. Yeah, Lon, I think that's really cool that you're able to make them, you know, make several of them at once. All right, I'm just looking at the stamp and seeing here what I'm going to do. Let's do these stars in blue. I'm just using my little ink pad here to get those little stars inked up. Cool, huh? So I've got those little ones, those little stars or snowflakes. I'm not sure what they are. Are they stars or snowflakes? Let me look at them a little more closely. Ah, oh, they're snowflakes. Okay. Little snowflakes in blue. And then in red, I'm going to do the deer. So let me do um, strawberry ink for the red. I like that idea for the deer. Try not to get it on the, the uh, snowflakes. I'm using this on purpose, the smaller one, because it will help me get my keep my ink in the places I want it. Okay, I think that's good. Oops, let's get his antlers. There we go. So good. Okay. Look at that. <laughs> Perfect. Look at that. It's so cute. All right. So then we've got down here below, we've got another stamp set. Or another tag set right there. And we could do red over here. Like that. Red, red, red. But then these holly leaves, we don't think we want those to be red. I'm just going to wipe the red off of those. Leave the berries red. But then when the leaves will come in with green. Let's finish up this little pinstripe here. Then the presents, we can ink those up again. And the ornaments. I think I moved that a little bit, so we may not be able to use that one. Now let's do green. So I've got uh, emerald green here. And just ink those little holly leaves up. With that, make sure we don't get our berries muddied. Perfect. Stamp that one more time. So cool, look at that, okay. So now we've got two tags we can use. I'm not gonna be able to use this one because unless I fix it with some markers. All right, I'm gonna wash this real quick. Wipe it down. And then we'll add a different color over here. We've got green trees over here we could use this green pad on. These must be evergreens, of course. And it looks like I got a little on my deer, so let's clean that off. Make sure this is right in the corner. Perfect. All right, let's get a little bit darker on our trees. Ooh, nice, perfect. All right, and then at the top, we can use a different color. We can use red at the top. Let's add that there. Red and green are a nice combo. Red and that blue is a nice combo as well. So there we got one, two, three tags. I'm going to fix this one with a marker. And then on this one, we could do green and maybe blue. Let's do 
Let's do some let's do some blue on this one, this last one. We'll just do this. Sky blue. Some nice blue tags. Blue tags are great for Hanukkah. Of course it's usually a darker blue, but you can still use this lighter blue. Or just a any kind of Christmas present too, it's fine. Okay, one more. And that's it. All right. Now let's take our die and we'll cut these out. What are you saying about it being faster? I think embossing the entire image in gold would look good. Ooh, Lana, that would be beautiful. You want to try that? Should we try that? Now, I remember there's still some black ink in here. Let's see what that looks like when, when we put this on here. I don't mind seeing what it looks like. That does look, that does sound fun, Lana. Just embossing the whole thing in gold. I think that'd be beautiful. Okay. You could do it on a different color tag too. It doesn't have to be white. It could be a different color. I give this product an A plus. I just think it's fantastic. A plus. All right, let's see what they look like when we've got them all die cut. I'm excited to see them. <laughs> the big reveal. Oh, nice, look at this. Great little tag. Ooh, look at that blue one. I like that. Here's another blue one with the snowflakes. Super cool. Look at this one right here. Green and red. Gorgeous. One pass and you have six tags. Yep. Look at that. I even had a little bit of green on the bottom of those. I think that looks just fine. Gold on red or silver on dark blue. Wow, yeah, great idea. Oh, I didn't show you this one. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. Mrs. Whitlock loves these tags. Man, me too. All right. Let's try what Lana said. Let's get us a piece of cardstock and uh, ink it up. I'm going to use this uh, gorgeous plum cardstock. I think this will look beautiful as tags. Christmas tags. All right, where's my paper trimmer? Which way did you go, George? Here's my microphone. This is gonna be beautiful. Let's zoom out a bit. There we go. Too far. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to trim this down a bit here. I want you guys to see what this looks like with gold embossing. But it's going to be beautiful. I bet it is. All right, now I have a new embossing tool that I just love. Where'd it go? My little brush. There it is. This is Rabbit Hole Designs. Fantastic little tool. It's got a 
powder brush on there. So I'm just going to look at how much great powder comes out of that. So I'm not skimping on powder. I just love that. Much better. Much more powder. Yes, give me all that powder. I'm going to clean this real quick before I add some embossing ink to it. Get my Versamark pad or my, let's do, this is the Hero Arts Embossing and Watermark ink. Ink that up. first pass always picks up the powder, right? The second pass lays down more ink. So the first pass will lay down some ink. The second pass will lay down more ink. Like that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's see how this works. Let's see how it goes. Need a piece of scrap paper over here. Okay. I don't see my scrap paper. I was looking for that earlier and I found it in the floor. This will work right here. Get my gold embossing powder. This is Hero Arts. It came in a kit, I believe. Because it doesn't have the label on it. Let's see how this work this works out. I think maybe I hit it too hard and knocked some of it off. There we go. That'll work. I think that'll work right there. This is a silicone uh, craft sheet here. I think it's from Ranger. And you can actually heat emboss right on top of it. So you're not going to hurt it. Look at this magic. So beautiful. How fun is that? Look at this. Let me wipe it down real quick. Get the powder off of it. It's going to cool it down. Actually, maybe I should restamp this area down here so we don't lose that one little piece. This one little section here didn't get uh, didn't get too well covered, so let's get it nice and covered. Get my Numinator tool, especially down here at the bottom. Isn't this great, Lana? 
Oh my goodness. I think this tag set's going to fly off the shelves tonight. I think it's going to go. I think it's going to go. Ten percent off, guys, if you use my code Del, uh, Daniel W ten at ldrscreative.com. Ten percent off. It's a great little deal. Look what I did. I just poured it right onto my silicone mat. Or is the, what kind of mat is this? Is it called silicone? I don't remember the name of it. Feels like Teflon or something. It's great. All right, now I'm gonna melt this right here. Even better with the second pass of that gold on there. This time I got better coverage right there on that little tag. The trees, the gift boxes. All right, let's look at this. Ooh, look how nice and beautiful that is. Susan wants the the tag set. <laughs> you can bake cookies on it if you wanted to. Oh yeah, that's what that is. Is that what it's called? The Teflon sheet. I just want to make sure this is nice and cooled down before I do this. Hey, Brandon. Brandon's here. Okay. Now we're going to die cut this out this is going to be magical as soon as i find my tags just like that let's do this There we go. And run this through like that, and we'll see what this looks like. I'm telling you guys, this is a lot of fun. <laughs> Lana, that is Hero Hughes Plum Cardstock from Hero Arts. I will put my uh, list together for you all after the show, and uh, it'll be in the description box below. So anything that I use tonight, you guys will be able to come back and say, oh, that's what he used. Here's a link for it, so you don't have to spend time searching for it. All right, and look at these tags. Lana, what a great idea. Just heat emboss that, you know, beautiful. Look at these, these are great. You could actually come in here and you don't even, you can use the to and from stamp in there if you want, or you could just grab a gold gel pen and watch, just letter it in yourself with a gold gel pen. This is a jelly roll gel pen and I'm going to say this is uh, two pow that's my wife's nickname from me there we go you just write it in yourself if you want <laughs> just with a little gold gel pen it's perfect it's perfect okay guys that is the 
Let me show you the website real quick. I'm going to pull it up on my screen here for you guys. This is the gift tag stack die set. That's the die that you get. I think it's 20 bucks. If you use my code, you get $2 off that. So it's only 18 bucks, 17.99. Then it comes, uh, it has coordinating stamps for Halloween. There's one uh, version of it, a computerized version. And here's a stamp set uh, with the Christmas, right? I didn't even show you the little sentiments on the Christmas one, but there they are. You can see that like that. Beautiful. Let's see what those actually look like. New products. Let's go to the new products page. And here's the stamp. Looks like this one is on pre-order. So you can order pre-order items separately so that they're, it's temporarily sold out, it looks like. It'll be back in stock shortly. But you can order it, and when it arrives, they'll ship it out to you. Here is the Halloween set. It is in stock. It's $14.99. With 10% off, you get $1.50 off that. That's nice. And then look at all of the other goodies. These are the things I've been showing you guys off and on on our newsletter and here online on my YouTube channel, this Co Cozy Cuppa stamp set. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at this amazing uh, insert stamp. You can stamp that on your cup. You could not stamp that on there. You could stamp this on there, hugging a mug. I just love that stamp set. I posted twice already using that stamp set on my Instagram page. It, uh, this one have an ice day. I've showed this one to you, shown this one to you. Aren't those fantastic? Now all of these are available now. They're, uh, except for the Christmas tag stamp set, but uh, all of them are available now. 10% off. Uh, let's see what else I've used in here. I've used this one already. I used that on a card. There were there were lots more. Let's see. There are more. Let's see. Oh, here we go. This pirouette one. Peace and joy pirouette stamps. I showed you that. This one is actually also temporarily out of stock. So they're very popular little items here. I use this this one here as well, the pointed or potted poinsettia. So yeah, this is um, a real privilege of, for me to be able to work with LDRS and and you guys get to be a part of that as well. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and, and shopping with LDRS Creative when you do shop. Use my code. All of that information is in the description box below. Let's just look at these again. Here's the stamp set we created, or the, the tags. Okay, so the the giveaway tonight is going to be my all the tags that I made here. Alright, that's going to be the giveaway for tonight. Let's see, got these here as well. And I've got these here as well. <laughs> I'm just going to put these in a little bag and send them out to the person who wins. I think that's a fun little giveaway, don't you? Okay. So, if you haven't said anything tonight yet, if you want to be considered for the giveaway, all you have to do is type in something in the comments below, or in the chat here. And I will pick a name here real quick. Thank you all for spending time with me tonight. Could you also do me a favor? I've got a link for you to click. LDRS doesn't have, I'm not doing um, uh, an affiliate link with them right now. I, I have one, but I'm doing the, the, the discount code with them for Christmas. So 
who knows? I don't know what uh, stamp sets coming out tonight from Simon Says Stamp for tomorrow, but at midnight, uh, I think there may be a stamp set coming out. I don't know. I knew the others that I'm involved with, and I know when they're, the other ones are coming out that I'm involved with, but not I'm not involved with one coming out tomorrow. So if there is one coming out tomorrow, and you want to shop that, you probably should do it at midnight, <laughs> because so many people miss it because they're not out there on, at midnight, you know? The most enthusiastic stampers, the biggest fans are probably out there t at midnight. So here's a link. Could you click that link and say, I clicked your Simon Says Stamp link, Daniel. I clicked it. Come back and say that. Click that link for me. Last stamp sets released at midnight sold out in 30 minutes. Yep. Colorado Crafts sold out in 30 minutes. And so did... So did um, Hero Arts, just so fast. Thank you for clicking that link, y'all. Y'all. Another, um, what was I going to say? Oh, so there's going to be a really great um, thing from Colorado Craft Company on Monday. And I'll have a video for it for all of you. If you missed the Colorado Craft Company's release. Uh, the stamp timber set there's going to be another deal available for y'all if you saw your emails today you'll know what i'm talking about but monday we'll have a big deal coming up for that so um just keep that in mind y'all keep that in mind i'm doing a video for that day for monday all right thank you all thanks for hitting the thumbs up and thank you for clicking my link. All right, guys, I'm going to pick a winner here real quick. And the winner of tonight's stamp set is, or not stamp set, the tags that I just created. <laughs> the little tags. You know the tags are going to be accompanied by a little something from my prize box, too. So, Anyway, this, the winner is, let's see who the winner is, April JC, April JC, J-A-S-E-Y, April, here's a round of applause. Now, I want you to send me an email, April JC, at delandarty at gmail.com and tell me I won a prize tonight along with your gift tags. And I will send that out to you. Just let me know your uh, uh, mailing address. Don't forget to give me your mailing address. And I will get that out to you when I ship everything this month. It's about time for me to ship again, since I just shipped it about three weeks ago, I think. But it's about time for me to ship again, so it's coming up. If I owe you a prize, it's coming up. You're coming up. <laughs> Thank you all so darn much for hanging out with me tonight. I hope you enjoyed your time together with me and playing with these LDRS tags. This uh, is a fantastic little die, and the accompanying coordinating stamps are super fun. I hope you'll get a chance to shop if you want, if you can, and you enjoy them. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful Sunday as well. God bless you all, and take care. Have a good night.